It's the biggest sporting event in the United States. The Super Bowl final is more than just a football match, it's an entertainment show. From expensive commercials to the halftime show, it's a spectacle. Dieter Eiselin is an offensive guard with the Chicago Bears in the NFL and is close to the razzmatazz that only the Americans know how to put together. He joins us via Zoom now ahead of tomorrow morning's final. Now, Dieter, the build-up has been dominated by the quarterbacks and Patrick Mahomes from Kansas City Chiefs and global superstar Tom Brady from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tell us more about these two key men and what they will bring to the spectacle. Very exciting game. I hope that it's going to be a very high-scoring game because both the Buccaneers and the Chiefs possess high-octane offenses, and obviously it's kind of old school versus new school because Tom Brady is going to a record 10th Super Bowl, going trying to go win his seventh Super Bowl, and Patrick Mahomes is going into his second Super Bowl, hoping to win his second Super Bowl. You know, the, the, the age gap is clearly there, and all the talk has been about the heir to the throne and the heir apparent. Uh, what would uh, Tom Brady pass on to uh, the young man that's uh, looking to take over his mantle? Yes, of course. I mean, Tom Brady is at this point in his career the best quarterback to have ever played the game. I mean, he had a dynasty when he was playing for the New England Patriots, when he was playing with Coach Belichick, and... Patrick Mahomes kind of has that same relationship with the head coach of the Chiefs, Andy Reid. So we'll see. Hopefully he can follow in Tom Brady's footsteps and maybe even surpass his records one day. Now, look, both teams have got uh, injured concerns ahead of the uh, final. Who will be the biggest miss for which team? Yes, I think the biggest miss will probably be on the offensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs. They're kind of playing with a ragtag, ragtag group of guys, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense is really good. They have a really good pass rush. So in order for that offensive line to step up for Patrick Mahomes and protect him is going to be critical. You briefly touched on the coaches and what they will bring and what their mentality will be to inspire their players. Who will be the winner on the day? What will they need to do? Which team will be the best option to put your money on, as it were? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, a lot of the experts are picking the Kansas City Chiefs as the favorites, but we'll see. I mean, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense is really good. Like I said, if they can stifle Patrick Mahomes' ability to move the football down the field, then I think it's going to be a very interesting game. So we'll see. I think that if I had to put money on it, I'd put it on the Kansas City Chiefs as of right now. But there's no saying who's going to win in the end, and that's what makes the game exciting. It's funny you say that uh, some of the pundits that I've uh, listened to ahead of uh, our chat uh, said, don't, uh, don't uh, discount the uh, Bucks and what they can bring to the final. Can we also just yes. look at the COVID-19 restrictions? Uh, you are currently stuck in South Africa, barred from traveling to the U.S. Uh, let's just look at some of the uh, restrictions that will be in place and the measures for the final. Yes, I mean, the NFL has done a great job this year uh, with the COVID protocols that they put in place. And we were able to go through the whole schedule of the NFL season, all 256 regular season games, and not one game was canceled. So I give all the props to them and the, the everything that they put in place to protect the players and their families. Um, but, yes, I'm currently, unfortunately, stuck here in South Africa due to the travel ban that was uh, put in place by President Biden. But I'm currently working with my team and the NFL to uh, get me safely back into the United States. I know these things are very stringent, the restrictions. Any uh, uh, notion as to how long these uh, negotiations might take and when you might be leaving? We'll see. Hopefully within the next week. Um, the great organization, the Chicago Bears, they are able to help me. Uh, I was able to work with a lot of key people in the organization and uh, work with people in Washington and hopefully get me the athlete waiver that allows me to travel under uh, the Biden travel ban at the moment. So it's a very interesting time as of right now, and you just have to adapt and adjust to everything that's going on. Thanks so much, that was Dieter Eiselin, an uh, offensive guard with the Chicago Bears. With these thoughts, well, tomorrow morning is a Super Bowl between the Kansas City Chiefs and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's